Hello, and welcome back to The Long War with me, Airpy. So, when last we left off, we had just gotten reports of alien abductions in France. In the meantime, I've gotten our squad all kitted up and ready to move out. So, you'll see that two of our uh, veterans from the last mission, Rodriguez and Calvo, are returning. I'd like to bring out a full squad of rookies just to get them all promoted pretty quickly, but I think it'll be more worthwhile to play cautiously at first. I'm still getting used to the classic difficulty, and I don't want to lose any more soldiers in the first month. So, let's talk about gear. So, our rookies all have a pretty standard complement of uh, HE grenades and flashbangs just to destroy cover and to disorient any aliens that are giving us trouble. We have one recruit, Private First Class Slappy here, who is acting as a sort of support surrogate. We don't have any medics at the moment, but I wanted another med kit and some smoke on hand. So, Slappy will be taking care of that. Uh, on our assault and our gunner here, we're taking another med kit on the gunner, because we don't have uh, a scope or anything more worthwhile at the moment, uh, as well as armor plating on both of them, just to make sure that they don't, you know, get knocked out early. And you'll see an alien trophy on, sorry, on Rodriguez here. So, in the event that one of our rookies gets pinned down and panics or something, I want to make sure that Rodriguez here is still able to react to that, to run and gun to where she needs to be and solve the problem. So we're taking the alien trophy to keep her from panic chaining if somebody else panics. Uh, you'll note two non-standard names here. We got Private First Class Slappy and Private First Class Yoder. Uh, I kind of put the word out on Twitter if anybody wanted to have themselves uh, inserted into the campaign. If you're interested in that, uh, let me know in the comments, or like I said, hit me up on Twitter. So, uh, without much further ado, let's get going. So I've been playing around with the video recording settings in the off time that I have. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Awesome. So you should hopefully see an overall increase in video quality this week. France is sending an urgent mission request. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Alright, so we've got this sort of diner, and what is that over there? Gas station map? Uh, this map has a lot of nice high points you can get to on the roof and on that billboard back there. Let's see where we spawn, though. Don't really have a sniper to take advantage of that uh, high vantage point on the billboard, though, but it looks like we're coming down on the far end anyway. All right. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. So, just looking around. It seems like we basically have two directions we can go here. Oh, by the way, I don't know if the mics will be picking it up, but one of my housemates has a dog, and he gets very nervous when... Uh, his owner is not home, so if you hear any whining or barking in the background, that's what that's about. Nobody's abusing a dog, I promise. He's just very nervous. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, we basically have two ways we can go. We can run out through this sort of pa open patio area here, which looks like a lot of medium cover. And it opens us up to, I don't know, if there's any aliens on the roof getting just wrecked by them. Uh, it seems like there is heavier cover out here. We've got this pickup truck, and I'm assuming some more stuff out there. Uh, but what's far more inviting to me is moving through this cover here. We've got nice alien pods. we got this generator, AC unit, whatever that is. Oh, I never noticed that shed out there. Is that in the map bounds? No. Um, and that way we can make entry into the building here. And I believe there's roof access around the corner somewhere, which will be nice. Yeah, is that, that it right there? So we're going to move the squad up the back alley here. 
<sighs> Just take it nice and slow. Okay. Here they come. Okay. There's contact right off the bat. Beautiful. Um and they're all deep in heavy cover. Don't have don't even have line of sight on all of them. <sighs> okay. Fortunately, we have roof access right here. If oh, we got the meld up there too. Just worried if running up there will reveal anything over here, but Otherwise, all we have is a straight line towards all those sectoids, and in this sort of heavy cover... Uh, I mean, we don't even have... We can't even get to that heavy cover in one turn. We're gonna have to do something kind of reckless, I think. Uh, so, how far can my gunner get up here? No, not very far at all. <sighs> About as far as the rupees can now. I need to get something on my side to deal with these guys. If I can get a couple soldiers up on the roof to move up the roof and just either get behind them or just have the elevation advantage on them, that will be very useful. <sighs> I don't want to dash directly up onto the roof, though, so let's just get some guys in position to move up next turn, I think. Which will be the rookie here, and then will be the gunner. In the meantime... Another rookie move here. Yeah, we have garbage on shots, but they don't have much better. So, we're going to overwatch these two rookies here, which hopefully the aliens see that and say, okay, we don't want to run out into that. In the meantime, what are the rest of... What's the rest of the team going to do here? I'd like to get the shotgun up where it can be useful, but... Even dashing, she can't get herself into heavy cover over here, and I don't want to get her killed. So, Slappy, Yoder, and Rodriguez here, I think are just going to stack up somewhere where they don't have line of sight to the aliens. Where is that going to be? Boy. Uh, if I put her over here, they might be able to get her through the windows. I should have looked around before moving her. This is scary now. These two are just going to move over here and hunker down in this light cover here. So we can hopefully get somewhere more useful next turn. Move into position. You know, if these rookies move up to the heavier cover, then they can move up to those posts. And, you know, we can just sort of leapfrog our way up. In the meantime... If I put her right behind the gunner on the corner here. Nah, if the aliens move up, then they will be able to get line of sight on her. I hate to do it with the shotgun, but I'm just going to run her back now to be safe. Don't reveal anything, please. Alright, mind meld coming out from the commander. Not the commander, just the pod leader. And Overwatch. Okay. And I hear movement to our left, out past the truck. That's not good. Now, is the gunner in range to suppress that Overwatch by any chance? Yes, he is. Alright, so. This is why you take gunners early on. Because without the gunner in place, I would not be able to get up on the roof. Now, with that Overwatch suppressed... object in sight. So, even firing, you know, from up here, if we just wanted to fire into heavy cover, we do so with much better odds. But, for right now, I just want to break line of sight with them. Aye, aye, Commander. And next turn, we can move up and toss a grenade in. This rookie is going to do the same. She's just going to... I'm sorry, he. That's Gregory. Monsieur. All oh, right, I should actually introduce the rookies so I have a better chance of remembering who's who and who has kills. So we've got Slappy and Yoder, obviously, uh, and then we have Gregory and someone else. So, Slappy, Yoder, move up, Overwatch again, keep those guys in position. Between the suppression and the Overwatch, they shouldn't want to go anywhere. 
you are in a really weird location now. Again, you're just gonna have to hold back on this one. Move up there and hunker down. More mind melt, good. And more Overwatch. So. Now the one thing that I'm kind of worried about is the sectoid behind them. Uh, you know, in the middle of that cover there. Because I can suppress this guy in the corner and get rid of his Overwatch. But if I run up with my other rookie here. My rookie's on the roof. We have Jenna Russell and Gregory. Okay. Russell and Gorshkov. Actually, I think if I suppress the one on the corner, he might actually be blocking line of sight for his buddy in the middle. So we should be able to run up and get grenades on target. And we could... We could either... We can throw HEs down or we can throw flashes down. Flashes would keep them in place. Uh, flashes have a variety of effects. They reduce aim, they clear overwatch, and they actually reduce mobility as well. So if we throw a flashbang down there, those guys won't be going anywhere. But they'll still be in heavy cover with a lot of distance for our rookies to clear. And when we do get back there for a flank or something, we might reveal something down this alley. Not that I heard anything, but we might. There's Bubba. Uh, hold on a second. That I think that's definitely getting picked up, so I'm going to go calm him down. So, what was I saying? Right, flash or frag. So, uh, now I don't know if an HE grenade will destroy that cover. It might. I think it's a better proposition than throwing a flash down there, because we can't really capitalize on a flash with all of our dudes all the way down here. It would let us move up more safely, but, you know, there's no position behind them that we can abuse. So let's just throw grenades at them. Okay. Yeah, like I said, the guy there was on Overwatch, but he doesn't have any line of sight. Oh, uh, Russell, it would have been, been great if you could have got some. Oh, you did get some. All right, awesome. All right, now it's Gorshkov's turn to get some. Uh, I don't really want to blow all the grenades on this, though. We only have one left after that. All right, one left. Yeah, on Yoder. But, if I leave those two alive, one is being suppressed, but the other's liable to just take a shot at our guys up here, and even though they have the elevation bonus, they are only in half cover. And it would be the pod leader taking the shot. I don't know if he has bonus aim, but he might. So, safer to just kill him. Brought grenades for a reason. Ruchami! Okay. Well, that one didn't do anything, but their cover's gone. Uh... Now, if I really trusted these rookies, I could run them out into no cover here and try to get shots off. But I don't. So I won't. Ah, I can't even get them into that full cover there. This sucks. They are liable to just run. If I can get the one that... If I can kill the pod leader... I can't. The feedback would... From the, you know... From the mind merge would kill the other one. I think they are just going to run for cover now, though. So, between the suppression... That's going to give us a free overwatch shot. But hopefully... Hopefully the gunner takes his shot first. And Rodriguez can get one as well. I'm on it, Commander. 
And I don't think they're going to stick around and fight. So we can move these guys up to half to try to get a better angle. Moving out. Oh, hello. Yoder, I'd love it if you got that kill over that gunner, though. Yes! Alright. And now we're guaranteed to get the Overwatch shot with uh, Rodriguez. They're trying to pull back. Ah! Or Slappy. Mm, good effort, Slappy. Shot wide! I'm under fire! Alright, good. Okay, here comes another pod. Sectoids and drone. And they're moving through the building. They did not Watch go up the, the roof side. there. That's good. Uh, however, we're now being flanked. And I was going to say that I trusted Slappy here to just move out to get close range flanking shot. Uh, honestly, I think I still do. I don't think he'll be in range of anyone. Hmm. If I move him here, he's behind that bit of wall as well, which might block line of sight. Let's do On it. My way. I could have used pistol and saved ammo. This is why you don't trust rookies. Uh. Okay, now we have problems, but... See, Rodriguez is still in line of sight with somebody there. If I put you here, line of sight's going to be blocked by this thing. Oh, this is a really shitty situation I'm suddenly in. <laughs> Alright, take that nice close-range shotgun. Okay. Uh, Slappy, you stay safe somehow. I don't know how, but please do. Uh, so, one advantage we do have is our rookies on the roof here. Uh, oh, let's get that melt while we can. On the move. Gonna need that later. Got the goods. Not a huge amount, but we'll take it. So, our rookie's on the roof here. Uh, our aliens could have shimmied up that, that drain pipe there, but they didn't. So, they're taking cover. We got one there, we got the drone there. Not sure where the other ones might be. Probably right here, but we probably have line of sight on him. I don't know. Didn't hear that back door kick open or anything, so safe to assume that they're all in this area, I think. I think. I think a lot of things. I thought that Slappy could make that shot. What a bum. Uh, so. If we move our, our rookies across the roof pretty quickly... We can get him to drop down behind, and that'll be fun. That'll be good for us. In the meantime, you move into heavier cover. Ooh, that's a good shot on the drone. I want to get rid of that drone before it starts hollow targeting or anything. The damage from the LMG should be able to do it. Or the saw, rather. If it hits, you know, if it hits. Moving. We'll see if Yoder wants some. You did your best. Uh, now, I don't have any suppressions or flashes out, so these sectoids are going to get to do whatever they want on their next turn, which is a little scary. Uh, but they're at very long range, and our guys are in pretty heavy cover. So honestly, I'm more worried about one of them scurrying up the, the post here. But there's not much I can do about it at this point. So I'm just going to move you up, keep you in heavy move. cover, though. And... Okay, that's the back door. That's the front door. That's a psychic attack. Oh, nice. Even with the mind meld bonus, he failed. Okay. We've got Overwatch on him, but... What are you doing, drone? 
This roof is is terrible right now. Are you taking a shot? What are you doing? Okay, good. Oh, that drone doesn't even have hollow targeting. All right, so let's take a count. We got drone here. We got the pod leader there. We got one on Overwatch by the window, and we've got one mind melding from way the fuck back here on the truck. Okay. That kind of limits things. I was hoping they'd stay clustered in this area here so we could just drop down on them and ruin their day. Uh, but we still have the elevation advantage on our side over here. And can we break his overwatch if we need to? I think so. Saw it for a... Okay, we can break that overwatch if we need to, if we want to. Can we get vision on Solid copy. the one behind the car, probably? If we can get to this cover here and he stays on the car, then we have him flanked from an elevated position, and that is brilliant. Uh, oh, to do that, we need to get a little closer next turn. So let's Moving. get a little closer. Nobody's got line of sight on us up here, so we're not in danger because they're very preoccupied with our forces down here. So, you lot, what can you do? If we want to stay in the heavy cover here and just kind of shoot it out while these guys move around the back, we can do that. Although we are running low on ammo on the saw. Another option would be to run the assault through the little kitchen here, get at him at the side. Could run him up to this heavy cover this turn. Although, that drone moving around the side could be problematic. Although, he's still grounded, so we have a pretty good shot at him. Yoder, get some. Good. Negative <sighs> I think we're going to blow our smoke okay. here just to ensure that these guys stay very, very, very safe. It does open them up. They might just hit them with, try to hit them with more mind phrase, which is not good. Uh, what kind of defense do they have already? 68... Oh, right, you already won. 65. I mean, an unlucky crit... I don't know, can always happen. You're gonna overwatch, just in case anything moves out there. Yeah, the drone's down, so let's run the assault up. Now, hopefully there's nothing in that room, but I don't think there will be. And you got shit for hits. Yeah, let's get the smoke out on him. Smoke's in the air! And you're gonna reload so we can suppress next turn if we need to. Okay, that's the guy coming off the truck. Mind meld on the pod leader again. Oh, shit! Alright, party's here. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six sectoids. Oh, brilliant. Yoder, you've got an iron brain. Seven sectoids? Is there another one behind the wall there? We got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sectoids. Oh, wow. Oh, if our team on the roof still had grenades. Oh, no. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that's all the sectoids on the map, though. And we do kind of have them pincered. 
Not that we have any flanks, but we do have the nice elevation bonus. <sighs> now I'm worried about running her up here. Because she's moving into very dangerous territory at that point. Our only explosive is on Yoder here. Which I think we really need just to get damage out at this point. We do have a flash. That... Oh. Okay, we can break that overwatch. If Yoder moves up to the corner and either reloads or hunkers, then he'll be ready for next turn. He'll be closer in range to get that grenade off. And I'd like him to reload, but I think we really just need to get him in position to get that grenade out there. Hopefully blow up some of this cover, open him up. So that's an Overwatch cancelled out. Yoda, where are you? Alright. You come up... Oh, could take them across the roof. That would force them to move out here to engage with him. I'm on it, Gonna Commander. put him on the corner. Her on the corner, sorry. Ooh, that's actually a flanking position. Uh, well... That's great, but you're just gonna chill. Uh, and you, if I move you out here, if I move you right here, then nobody can run up on us. And then the only one you'll have to worry about because, oh no, these two are flashed. He's not, he is not. If I move you here, you can move, maybe shoot straight down on this guy. You have him flanked. If you have line of sight to him. I don't know if you have line of sight, like, straight down like that. But then we'd have to worry about this guy here just turning around and shooting you next turn. What's it look like if I move you over here? Okay. If I can take him out, get a bit of mind meld damage on one of those pod leaders, maybe they get taken out by the grenade later. Ah, uh, but then, no, 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 what if this guy just runs right up? What if he just scurries up the pipe there and, and kills, uh, Grigory here, Gorskov, whatever his name was. Shit. Alright, more flash. That was a bad move, but I did it. <laughs> just step out there onto the clean open air. This is a lot of sectoids. So if I move her up to this corner here, then their options are to go through the door or jump through the window, or go through the door over there, in which case she only has half cover to them, but that's full cover there, which is, f and there's no other, well, there's half cover over there. So they'd have to run through the room to that half cover to get a line of sight on her, I think, unless they just stick to that cover right there. I'm thinking I could put her right there and overwatch in case any of them tries to make a break into this room. I just keep her right here at Overwatch in case any of them try to make a break into this room. What the hell do you do? You're still in smoke, so you're pretty safe. I think you suppress this guy right here to try to keep them clustered up for the grenade. Plus, he's in a position that we can flank pretty easily. And you, Slappy, move up to this corner here and Reload. Ready to rock. <laughs> All right, so that's a mind merge onto one of the flashed sectoids. It gives him some more crit chance, but it doesn't do anything about his shitting. Oh, it does give him more will for another failed side panic. We're getting very lucky with those today. Opportunist shot. 
does not connect. Oh. Oh, he's just out. He's gone. <laughs> Hey, there it is. Nope. No, it's not. But depending on where he goes, we might have an easy shot on him next turn. He's moving back to the heavy cover in the back corner. Okay. Oh. That's what? Four failed mind attacks? Five? All right, Yoder. How far can you get this thing? If I run you out down there, I don't like that. If I run you out up here, I like that a bit more. Moving. It's still kind of dangerous, but that is a big cluster and I want them. That's line of sight. Taking fire over here. Can you see the shots? I can't see the shots. All right. I would love, 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 love to kill those guys. Probably not going to kill the four health one. We might not even kill the other ones, but... Damage is damage. Batter up. Oh, Yoder. Got some. And all that cover's gone now. That guy's flanked. We took out that whole wall. God damn. Yoder, if you don't promote into an engineer, I don't know... Sorting Hat did something wrong. So, we still have Rodriguez up. What are you going to do? You can run and gun into this deep corner and wreck that young man. Which is what you're going to do. Getting cocky. Let's do it. Like I said, I don't think there's any more pods on the map. And we just blew up all of their cover. So they're going to be running for cover. I don't think anyone's going to be in position to shoot back at her. Even if they are, she's in heavy cover behind a closed door. Aliens can't open doors. Oh, Slappy. You're going to move to the corner? You're going to take a shot at that flanked guy. Ooh. Although, you got the same odds on either one, and taking him out would be very nice, and then Slappy can move up and take the flank shot. He's still very nice. Six damage. Nice roll. If he got some. Moving out. Yes, Slappy gets his. Alright, I think that's a kill on every recruit now. Or PFC. Alright, we're gonna move you down here to just we don't want you peeking out. But we want you in position to follow that guy wherever he's going. Could just start taking shots at him, actually. He's he's in heavy cover with his low profile, or maybe that's just heavy cover. It's a truck. No, that's half cover. Um, and he could fire back at us, but we have heavy cover on the elevation bonus. Let's give it a shot, Gorshkov. Oh, brilliant. If it wasn't for the uh, damage reduction, we would have had him. What are you doing? He's overwatching. Oh, we just lost a meld somewhere. Alright, so he's on overwatch there, but we have guys in position to take shots at him already. Good to go. And if we just move one tile into his line of sight, he doesn't get the overwatch. And that's it! He's down. That was a very scary situation that we got through very handily. Uh, I don't think we took any damage on that run. A lot of mental attacks coming our way, but they all failed, which is very good. Um, yeah, actually, I think you get an experience bonus for not taking any damage. Let's see if Bradford has anything to say. I'll probably start skipping through these sometime soon, I don't know. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Alright. 
So, oh, Gorshkov didn't actually get a kill. I thought he got a kill with a grenade early on. Oh, that's a shame. All right, so we have a support from Slappy. Very nice. Sticking to your role. Yoder's actually becoming a tactical. He's going to be our first infantry. She, rather. Uh, and Russell here is our specialist, so she's going to be a rocketeer. Very nice. That was a good mission. I feel really great about that one. Uh, the first one made me, you know, pretty apprehensive, losing that rookie pretty early on. You know, the first shot I took in this run was a flank shot. I think it was a 70%, 65, I don't know, that failed. And then to just get we drilled through heavy cover touch, commander. like that was uh, pretty scary. But no, that went well. <laughs> we took that alien trophy and we never needed it. So, we got an assault, we got a gunner, you're probably going to be an infantry, you're probably going to be a rocketeer, and you're probably going to be a medic, because we already have an engineer, and I already gave you the smoke grenades, so, yeah. Yeah, let's just do that now. Look, he didn't even have to change the color of his armor. You're going to be our tactical. Nice. And Russell here is our Rocketeer. Beautiful. Alright, let's see if there's anything we need to do around the base, and then we'll scan and see what's coming up next. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. There's really not are much we can do at the moment. Us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Someday we're going to crack this case, Valen. Uh, we could get working on a shiv, honestly. We've got the money for it. Um, and it would be really nice to use as a scout if we get, like, an early large UFO landing or something, which I've seen happen. I... And one of my other games I had, I think it was an abductor, I'm not sure. Something very large set down in the first month, actually. Uh, which was very scary. Oh, no, we get working on our... We get one fission up here. And then, probably by next month, we get down here and get to this steam. Uh, and then with the two steams right next to each other, if I get those up and running... I might even be able to demolish this, but no, nah, I put the money into it, so it's probably staying. Probably get, like, an officer training, and then, like, alien containment over here, maybe? We're not going to need much more than three satellite uplinks. Probably not going to need much more than two early on, honestly. I'm not going to be expanding very fast. Like I said, uh, the air game is pretty difficult. I'm probably not going to stretch out into another continent, at least until I have laser cannons. Uh, so we can get Jenny, Jenny, containment here, maybe. Officer training school. This space reserved for labs and workshops. Uh, so I can probably get, like, a foundry out here, because it's got the workshop adjacency. It's more important to get labs than workshops, I think. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think so. Uh, don't have the power for the access lift yet, so we won't. Situation room, do we have any requests? No. How are our stocks looking? We've got corpses, we got a couple of drone wrecks, fragments, meld. Alright. Hangar. Oh, maybe we. It's 200 for another? 140 for another. Alright. Uh. It would be nice. I want to get six. We haven't had to use any of them yet, but would be nice. But I don't really want to sell anything yet. We want to keep these around for requests, so we'll stick it for for now. And let's scan. Seamus Kelly's back. UFOs over the UK. The UK might be... The UK might be pulling out this month. That happens in Long War. Commander. We're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. All right, next month we'll move out to Matsuyama, Japan. Uh, I just realized I haven't been keeping track of like what the names of these operations are. I'll look back at the footage, but you know what? Let's suit up ahead of time. 
that was a this was a light one compared to the moderate of the last, so I think we're going full rookies on this one. Oh no, you know what? I'll give people time if they want rookies named after them. So we won't be doing that just yet. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Uh, I'll see you again down the road. Uh, like I said, if you want a rookie named after you, let me know in the comments. If, uh, I don't know, if you got any other comments at all. Got the YouTube comments, got Twitter. And uh, I'll see you around.